Hello and welcome to this video. This is Demo and we are looking at Burning Test and uh, Spacey also um, on this video. And this is just a little, two little programs. One I've already previewed before, but another one, Burning Test, that I haven't previewed before and I've only just started using. I uh, got introduced this through my work at, uh, um, through my work of what I do uh, with with computers and uh, yeah um, this is basically a benchmark uh, testing program where you can test where you can stress test sorry, your um, your system and you can see how individual um, components and individual systems work within your rig um, so the first page, this system information gives you an outline of your current system. Uh, so as you can see, that's my current system. So I have an MSI board, uh, as, um, a 970A SLI Krat edition board. Uh, that's my model number. Uh, it is a custom built board, but it runs off the motherboard. Um, and um, yep, yeah, so that's all my system. Uh, my CPU is uh, an AMD FX8300 8-core processor. Um, even though it's saying cores per CPU 4, it is an 8-core, but it's just recognizing it as a 4-core processor for some reason and uh there's all the features of the um of the processor so yeah uh that's its current running running speed uh 4.2 megahertz sorry gigahertz um uh, running at multiplier 21.0 turbo boost turbo core 21.0 um and that's the reference clock speed that's the cache uh the ram is uh even though it says it's a uh, yes it is a corsair um it's a corsair vengeance uh two corsair vengeance sticks running at eight gig uh 1600 megahertz per uh well it's 1600 megahertz for the two but the only clock up to 800 megahertz per stick um and yep i've only got two sticks in there uh that's the graphics card um the cd uh, the dvd uh roms uh yep and um uh the hard drives the optical drives um and uh, so on and so forth so anyway uh yeah so to uh so as you can see you've got various different features on this you've got system results uh so it's burn in results you've got uh event logs and you've got your temp temperature but i do use this spacey um uh program or specy or however you want to uh want to pronounce it um this these two are both free programs to download you can buy paid versions of these this burning test is 30 dollars i think it is and this one is also 30 dollars but i'd i'd recommend you just buy uh, just getting the free the free ones because the paid ones yeah if you if if you're doing it for commercial reasons yeah you're probably better off paying for it because you get a lot of in you get a lot of bonus features into it uh same with the spacey or specky uh one um and uh yeah so anyway uh to to start a test you can just run test as it's preset in this but i usually do where is it i usually do uh set set test preference so you can set test pref oh no no it's not that um well, oh there it is yep sorry it says test selection and duty cycles so you've got things like your cpu optical drives printer ram video gp gpu um 
2D graphics, 3D graphics, disc, sound, and network. So what I basically do is I test me CPU, me RAM, me GPU. It's you can test your 2D graphics, but because this is a 3D accelerator card, mainly a 3D accelerator card, it doesn't really bring up the 2D graphics. But we'll leave that on for the time being. Um, uh, discs, yeah, you don't really need to do the sound because it's, uh, it can get really annoying if you do the sound all the time because it's beeps and bleeps and does all annoying sounds and stuff like that. And you can also test your network, but really that's not needed for home use. Um, the printer, it hasn't really, it's, it hasn't really got a printer connected, so I don't really need to connect that video i think this is for video capture cards or video playback cards but i haven't got one installed in the system so that's not that's not um valid for this test so to to start the test you just go to uh okay and then you select start selected test so you click that and it will throw up random, uh, quite a lot of windows, as you can see. Oh, hang on. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you can see quite a lot of windows here. Um, and this test will take on, mainly it'll take about 15 minutes to, to do. But I won't run all the way through this test. Um, I'll skip quite a lot of this video. Um, just just to basically show you how to do this and uh, yeah i i have done this uh, previously i tried to record it previously but it just didn't work out uh, for some reason and the reason also why i have the specky or spacey um program on here opened up is so I can keep an eye on the temperatures of the core, the motherboard temperatures, the graphics card temperatures and the storage temperatures. They're not basically that much, um, uh, you know, um, really that important because your hard drive can basically run quite high. Uh, so, well, some hard drives can run quite high. Um, but it's uh, it's basically keeping an eye on the uh, the CPU core um, temperatures and the motherboard temperatures because them two will crash your system. Even though that can be important, but for uh, for British environment or for anywhere where it's not as hot, it's not really, really, really. Um, adequate really um not really important because i'm pretty sure you see uh, your hard drives can run up to somewhat like 50 degrees but it really it really does hamp up uh that amount um so if you have a hard drive that does hamp up that to that amount you need to really, you need to um, replace the hard drive because it's going to, you know, because if you think about it, it's a mechanical disc and it's probably on its way out. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to let this program run for, for the next uh, 12 and a half minutes and uh, I will be back very shortly to run through the results of this uh, of this test and uh yep yeah, anyway right back in a second hello welcome back uh sorry about that i had to end i had to quick cut from where i was because i had uh something happened here anyway anyway as you can see uh this test that i have done has been a complete failure with the fail rate here um but on expecting the results uh just click okay on that um it says error verifying data in ram now this is something to do with the fact if i can remember right by the documentation of this this program it's when the uh 
data gets written uh, to your RAM and then gets verified and then gets pulled from your RAM back to the hard drive. It's sort of errored in that, but it's done four cycles, so it only conflicted in one of them. Now, uh, the documentation also says it may cause... Um, um, where is it? May cause... Where is it? Where is it? Just trying to find it now, just for some... Uh, yep, there is. Um, it says error verifying data in RAM. The error written to memory is not the same information read from memory. This may this is a very this is a very serious error, which is like incorrect mathematical. It's like the incorrect mathematical error above. It's highly likely that your computer is about to lock up, crash or lock up. Now, like many Windows users usually have crashes, so a, I mean, I might need to sort of test the RAM further. Um, so I'll get the, te the RAM test done. That's something that's on my scheduled list. But as you can see, all the rest of it, has been um, has been okay. Uh, the temperature. Uh, well, let's have a look at the temperature. The temperature now went from forty eight to fifty two, so never got higher than fifty two degrees C. Uh, the GPU never got higher than fifty six. The hard drive never got higher than thirty two. Now, the hard drive really gets above say like 40 degrees uh, it's more aligned with the GPU and the CPU so they're well within limits I mean the CPU could withstand probably about 80 degrees before crashing before over throttling this has actually no uh, thermal threading so it's just solid cores um, sorry, hyper threading. It has, it's got no hyper threading. It has got thermal threading, um, but it's got no hyper threading in it. It built into the CPU basically because they didn't build that into this model. I don't think they built it into any FX processors. Um, so it's lacking on that part. Um, but yeah, uh, very recommended. Uh, um, uh, piece of software and uh, that seems to be it for this video hope you like this video and hope to see you next time on another video uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now bye